to, to 19, to, to blacks not being able to vote, really. You're equating my, I no, am, seriously. I believe that oppression. Are, are you really making a moral equivalent to kneeling during the national anthem of not being able to, of Rosa Parks I, in, in the 1960s? Look, I agree. Oppression is oppression. And I believe that any sort of protest against oppression is something that is a patriotic act. And unless it crosses way more lines, like har physically harming people, you should not be told not to do something that helps people. No, I, I agree. I'm not telling they shouldn't be doing it. I think they're fools. I don't and, think that they're fools. And people have bled me. and died for that flag. I and, don't and that flag represents more than just a fabric. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook destroys BLM supporting athletes and call it Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, do you mind if I film the question? I just want to. No, you're good. Whatever. All right. So obviously we got I'm, plenty of cameras here, so you're not the only I, one. I just want to have it. But like, obviously, I'm a big Kaepernick guy. I think that he's a patriot based on my definition of a patriot of sacrificing something large in order to help the greater good of the country. And he, sacri he sacrificed his job. Have you ever been Afghanistan? Yes. Have you ever been Afghanistan? Oh, shit. Sure. All right. Easy, Mahoney. Let him talk. All right. Military. All right. No, let him talk. Charlie, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a viewpoint if held by... If you have by, a question, get on the It's a view held stairs. by a lot of Americans, so I want to hear what he has to say. So, can it's, we... So like, it's a legitimate viewpoint. Him, I want to hear what he has to, to say. To dispel him, can we agree that going to war for your country isn't the only way to be a patriot? Oh, without second? a doubt. Okay, okay, thank you. I just want to... Yeah. So, um, you've been criticizing, at least what I saw on Twitter, the kneeling um, yes. of the NFL players. But yes. what I've seen since the kneeling is more social activism within the athlete community. A lot of money has been raised. Chris Long recently has donated his entire season game check after kneeling. Colin Kaepernick donated a million dollars to uh, many things, including Know Your Rights Camp. I just want to know, like, what is more important? What would you say is more important? Helping black people and equality in this country or standing for the anthem when many terrible people who I would never consider patriots stand for the anthem. So I don't think that it's as much of a symbol as loving your country as actively doing something to help it like Colin Kaepernick has done. Okay, so. I, you can do both, but I don't hey. think. I don't think you have to stand for the anthem to love your no, country. No, so here's the one thing I will say. Not one, I want to make it very clear. Not once do I think they should be forced to stand for the anthem. I think they mm. should be able to voluntarily do whatever they wish to do. I think they're making fools of themselves, quite honestly. Um, and I think that the criticism towards them is warranted and right. And so when you, when you have an act of civil disobedience during the national anthem in protest of what exactly? No, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, they are protesting because they feel that black people are oppressed in this country in ways including education. There's education oppression. There's been housing discrimination still going on in this country. There's police brutality, which is still an issue in this country. Mm -hmm. There's lack of accountability for police when they do commit crimes. And that's what they've been so, so you believe them. during the national anthem, the song that represents the very fabric of this country is the appropriate time to do that in front of the flag, in front of veterans saluting? I, you, you feel that's appropriate? I am not. I, I want to make sure your I, position is clear. Yeah, I am not going to tell someone how to protest. There were uh, me neither. I'm asking you if you think it's right. I think it's right, yes. You do? Were, yes. I believe that get your message out when most people are watching something, most people can hear your message and you can help the most people. People were telling, like Rosa Parks, the bus is not a place to voice your Are you really people. equating modern day protesting of the, to, to 19, to, to blacks not being able to vote, really? You're equating... My, I, I no, am, seriously. I believe that oppression... Are, are you really making a moral equivalent to kneeling during the national anthem of not being able to... of Rosa Parks I, in, in the 1960s? Look, I agree. Oppression is oppression. And I believe that any sort of protest against oppression is something that is a patriotic act. And unless it crosses way more lines, like har physically harming people, you should not be told not to do something that helps people. No, I, I agree. I'm not telling they shouldn't be doing it. I think they're fools. I don't and think that and they're people fools have bled me. and died for that flag. And, I don't and that flag true. represents more than just a fabric. Let yes, me be perfectly clear. Yes, it does. It's into me. You've said your piece. Now it's time for mine. Let me say my piece. The flag and this country have and will continue to be the greatest symbol of freedom, both domestically and internationally, all around the world. Have always been. True. 
The flag of the United States of America symbolizes a couple different things. The white for the peace that we, st that we strive here domestically, and the blood of the veterans that died internationally for our freedoms and liberties. So when, you, when, when athletes, who quite honestly, I would be hard pressed to understand why they believe that is an appropriate time for them to protest. It just, I believe it w goes directly insulting to the very fabric of the veteran community, to what the flag stands for, and what this country has always stood for. But more than that, the, the oppression that, that they are talking about, is kneeling really the best way to address it? Seriously. No, I, I'm not. I'm crit. Volunt How about they give away 90% of their money to local charitable groups? Why don't they run for office? Why don't they raise more money to do it? Why don't they start a business? Thank you. Because if you think about it, it's a mixed sense. They are doing the kind of like the right thing at the wrong time. You can't tell me at the time of the national anthem, when the flag is there, you're say protesting to share your message to who? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's an art of disrespect. For me, it's an art of disrespect. And I love how um, Charlie handled this athlete. It's, it's, it's silly for you to tell me that for this, the BLM um, athlete, for him to say that he supports such action, that during the time of the anthem, they are protesting, and uh, that is a way for them to show out or, sh or share their the, to voice out their own opinion to everyone. It makes no sense. Number one, you are disrespecting the anthem and you are disrespecting the flag that a lot of people shed their blood on to create freedom for Americans. It makes no sense for you to, to protest at that moment, that crucial moment. You can, you can protest later on, even before the anthem. Not at that moment, guys. Not at that moment. And he's proud enough to comment and say that they were doing the right thing. They were not, you guys were not doing the right thing. You are doing the, the right thing at the wrong time. That's as simple as that. And if you want to stand up for black people that are being oppressed and so forth, there, there are other ways you can go about it. That is, a, that is a simple thing. There are other ways you can go about it. Not that route. You are, you are, you are, you went about it. <laughs> there are other ways. That's that's it. I love how Charlie handled this um, BLM athlete. I love how Charlie handled it. Handled. I love how Charlie handled him, and also the um, other um, people over there that were voicing out their opinion in the crowd. I love how <laughs> they already know what the guy was about to say before the guy asked the question. <laughs> so they were already attacking him. I love how the other. Um, People in the Congress, um, people in the um, audience attacked or voiced out their own opinion too. But I love how Charlie handled this, to be um, truthful. Charlie handled this very maturely and he puts the student right. He put the BLM athletes right. It was like, nah, what you did, you, you are showing an art of disrespect. It was an art of disrespect. They were, they were like voicing out their own opinion at the wrong time. But this was an amazing video to watch and I love how the video went about and I love how Charlie puts the student straight to the right path for him to understand what he did was actually wrong or what he, if he was not part of the students or part of the athletes that, that interrupted the anthem, okay. But if he was not possible, Charlie puts him straight for him to get the clear picture that what they did at that moment was terrible, was bad. Comment down below to think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that dump, dump shaker Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, just in my bed, I got scales on